All right, we're back playing Final Fantasy VII, and we're going to finish up this ridiculously long and unnecessarily complex sequence of memories just to get a... a, a honestly, I'm not really sure why. I'm pretty sure it's to get a clearer picture of why we're chasing Sephiroth and all this stuff. I suppose when I said after, you know, when I told him to run and leave the Shinra Tower, that I would explain later. I assume this is what, you know, he mean by explain later. Because there isn't... Oh my god, my town is on fire. Uh, maybe? Relatively? What's your dead people? Okay. This is my house. And... nope. Now see, that's what I think that it meant by a few days later she died. I don't know why he phrased it like that, but... You know. As he kills the random townspeople. And we get this cool looking... Thing. This is a lot of the scenes, or this is many, this is the scene that many videos that ever talk about, like, Final Fantasy villains, or Final Fantasy VII in general, that's the scene they always use when they talk about Sephiroth, just that stare, and he turns away and walks into the fire. It's actually pretty epic. And thankfully, they don't make you run all the way back to the reactor, you just kind of get there on your own. And they put the regular, like, boring music, the boring reactor music back here? Uh-oh. I don't know what he was... What was he doing here? Did he follow Sephiroth or something? Judging... Well, that's not entirely unjustified. Grab that sword that he just so casually left laying around. Sorry, Pops. Please open the door. Well, easy. He took the sword and he stabbed them. And he, quite frankly, just takes it from her and... Child abuse. Okay, she's not really a child. Ow. 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 You bastard. How dare you put your filthy sword blade on the Mika. You shall be boiled in oil. I'm right here. Though, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm no medic. Now you just sit here and bleed out while I go get revenge on Mr. Edgelord. Ah, see the cool ominous music is back. Let's go to the Promised Land. No one knows where that is. Not even you. I don't know if I'm worth a they. Really? She's kind of like a half a body in a glass tube. This scene was also very, very good, you know, for 1997 standards. And this is another scene right here that they use in 
videos talking about it right up until about now. You know, him just looking at the thing rather than ripping the mechanical nonsense off. Because that's not Genova, that's just the thing, you know, front. Genova's actually in the tube. With her eyeball boob and that thing connect like directly to her womb or something, jeez. Which I guess makes sense if she's spawning monsters. I, well, might well. I mean, you lost your hometown. He lost his entire race of people, allegedly, or so he thinks. We're not exactly sure. Sephiroth's motives are a little vague, pretty much throughout the entire game. I mean, it's like, he's attempting to take the planet back for a dead race of people? I don't know... Like... That just, it doesn't seem, that doesn't seem logically sound in any way. Just somebody that I used to know. Okay, I'm not. No karaoke. Rapid camera cuts. Vertigo. Distortion. White screen of death. I gotta admit, that scene always makes my eyes hurt. Well, no, no more. We, <laughs> clearly, the two of them survived as they are standing right there. Yeah, no shit. I mean, he was level 50 and peerless. No way level 1 cloud is killing him. Well, yeah, I mean, he did kind of come back and murder the president. You can't handle the truth. Maybe he thought he did. I mean, clearly he thought he killed Mika. Yeah, well, as, you know, clearly it can be moved again. No one knows how. I mean, did he just leave it there? It is entirely possible Sephiroth took it. <laughs> See, he sums it up. None of this makes any sense. It's a thing where, like, the story to this game comes together towards the end. But it very much, uh... Comes in pieces. And it's very piecemeal getting there. I don't think the pacing is all that great. I mean, it's not terrible. It doesn't drag. It's not... It's, well, it drags in some spots. But it, it doesn't have, like, horrible transition issues from slow to, you know, terrible in pacing. Aww. I would be sad if Mika was killed by Sephiroth. You would too. Don't lie. But yeah, the, the whole piecemeal reveal of the plot is uh, I think probably one of the biggest knocks I have with this game is that it establishes the villain early but it makes his motive so unclear that you know you're basically chasing a ghost for the sole purpose of chasing a ghost it's almost like you you own a reality TV show okay. can I freaking walk? thank you Here. Then he hands you basically a cell phone. I don't... Do they ever actually, like, abbreviate or tell you what PHS stands for? Phone service? Portable helipad simulator? No one knows. Okay, well, now that I believe I have my party back. Uh, let's put that... Um, I want to change it up a bit. You know what? No, I'll rock this party until a little bit later. Hmm. Fine. Oh, just now? <laughs> Real scary. Alright, um... Yeah, let's go. 
Okay, so now you have the PHS. Basically what happened, you can use this to change party members on the world map or at save points. Alright, so let's, I guess, head on east towards the grassy field. And then when we get there, we'll call it a day. Doing some traveling, doing some traveling, doing some traveling. Some more bikes. So yeah, magic in this game seems to be, or at least for now, seems to be more potent than your physical attacks because you don't really have the physical like strength stats to compensate for how much negative to your strength score the materia makes you. So using magic is much more efficient at this point. That's our next destination there. See if I can get there without another encounter. Nope. And we have... Didn't look very flaming to me. We have Levricon? I honestly have no clue what a Levricon is. Is that a type of bird or something? But they have 200 HP, no weakness, and they're just... they're found out here. Let's see if this just... That's about as much damage as it normally does to enemies without a weakness. The thing about uh, Pamela is she has a much higher magic stat than most other characters in this game. So, as she catches up in levels, she will start doing ridiculous amounts of damage with her magic. But we have arrived at this place. I think if you do, is it this one? No, I think we gotta talk to someone inside. Hi, guy. Choco Bill. Crossing the marshes? That is where we have to go, actually. <sighs> because uh, there is a giant snake in the marsh, and he sucks. That is Midgar Zolum. Yeah, well... Yep. Yeah. And basically, the only one of the only ways you can actually get around this thing and get through the marshes is by have riding a chocobo. Um no, I don't want to do it right now. I want is it can I talk okay. Are they gonna do it? Okay, good. So yeah, you want to talk to that chocobo, select the first option, and they'll dance for you. You think, what well, could this possibly have to do with anything? Well... Once they get done dancing, obviously. Will you... stop? Yeah, the, the the one by the fence and the one in front of near the bottom of the fence are always in the same place. The other two roam around, so you can kind of get it where they're stuck with their asses facing toward me. But we get the Choco Mog Materia. The Choco Mog is the first red materia because it is a summon. Essentially, what summons do is they tend to do a lot of. I'm gonna put it there just to have it equipped and have it gaining AP. The the odd thing about summons is, is most of the magic materials will actually lower your strength score as well as your HP while raising magic and MP. 
uh, summons typically don't do that. They typically just raise magic and they don't lower strength at all, so... Uh, you know, it, they you tend to put them on your fighters if you just want them to gain AP. Because aside from lowering their HP, which usually they have plenty of, it doesn't really affect them too much. I also do want to give you... Uh, Earth there, then exchange and swap the two. Again, heal I'm not really going to touch until way later. Because while it is while it is important for you know the master materia, I don't really care to put some AP on it now. Uh yes, please give me a chocobo. Aw. <laughs> Old Okay, so now, yep, here's the thing, going out to catch a chocobo. Okay, where are they? They're outside on chocobo tracks uh, in for random battles. How do you catch one? You can throw a green of some kind at them, and they will stick around while they eat it. And if they're the only monster left in the battle, uh, you know, they you catch them. You can catch it when you catch Chokbo, you are immediately riding it. And Chokbo Lure, I have 2,000 gold, so yeah, I'm gonna buy it. Yeah, okay. See? Um let's just get a couple gifts of greens. I shouldn't need more than that. But yeah, I will show you how to catch a chocobo in the next episode, and then we're going to use it to cross the swamp. <laughs> okay, yeah, so that's your hint that uh, Sephiroth went towards the mythical mine across the marsh. And that's where we're going next. The mythical mine actually is one of the best places in the game for grinding out new limit break levels because there are battles in there that have six monsters that are fairly common, which gives you kills like a madman. If you just, I think you equip up all in a fire materia or the enemy skill in match or magic. But what I'm going to attempt to do is the Midgar Zolum, while being ridiculously powerful, does have a blue magic spell that I would like to learn. And... I'm going to see if I can actually learn it without dying. And if, you know, if uh, I can, then I will show you how. If not, then I will just start the next episode getting a chocobo to skip it. Because it's a spell you can learn way later, but it will help you immensely if you can learn it now. But that's it for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Next time, we'll equip the chocobo lure materia. Who's got a free slot, Mika? Yeah, this thing does absolutely nothing. Other than meeting chocobos, it does absolutely nothing. But, so next time, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all your support, and have a good night.